right, guys. Steve Benoon here with Israeli News Live. We are, of course, live. And I will keep my focus on the road while I'm driving here. But I wanted to share some things as I get updates, try to find out more information <clears throat> for you guys, and uh, also address the issue about Florida. Some people have, after I did the video the night before last, I guess, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> people were asking me, Steve, why would you leave Florida? What's the deal with Florida? But well, it's a number of issues. But before I get into that, let me first, while we have a live broadcast, because I'm going to lose my signal very soon, <clears throat> I wanted to share with you the name of the video, Prepare for Impact. I said to you back about four months ago, my Pentagon source, also advisor to the president, had told me that come August or September, no, I'm sorry, not August, just September, everybody on the planet will know we're in really serious condition. Uh, <clears throat> I have other friends as well that also uh, have very close connections in the Pentagon. And I've been going through some discussions. We've been trying to compare notes about the things that are coming. And it appears to be that we, the debris field that I spoke to you about four months ago, after I, after maybe it was longer than four months, but I think it was about four months ago, when my own uh, White House source shared with me that we would be going through what, as I quoted, and I think I even shared with you the email, well, what I call an asteroid belt, is some sort of debris field. And I know I've got a lot of flat earth friends that don't believe these things. And, and listen, I, this is not, this is nothing to <clears throat> try to be different with anybody on, but I think that we've got to sit down and really weigh out what's going on and take these things very seriously, especially prayer, the love for your family, spending time with your family. But we already know now last month three asteroids passed the earth one in june actually hit the earth they have tried to suppress that information this is i believe what caused the big dust plume <clears throat> that has gone over america uh, i did get that confirmed that that was the case it did hit it, it was an asteroid that caused this uh, also another great concern that i have is that um, <clears throat> that I was told by my own source four months ago, the reason we weren't being impacted that much as of yet is because Jupiter was kind of blocking a lot of the uh, debris that was coming towards the Earth. But he said that once Jupiter moves out of the way, it will actually, we will then begin to have a lot of these things coming at us. Now, as I was traveling last night up on top of a mountain, people were out there watching for these asteroids to come by. I guess last night was supposed to be one of the, uh, I think five that NASA said's coming this month, which doesn't that seem a little bit strange to you guys? Five asteroids in one month? Since when did we start having so many asteroids coming by like this, especially at the size they're coming? Well, from what I understand at this point now, it's only a matter of time before a major city gets hit by one of these rocks. And depending on the size of it, will be depending on how much devastation it, <clears throat> it causes. My wife shared with me on the phone that there was a lady that, excuse me, a lady pharmacist that went public <clears throat> about how legislation is being passed it's going to enable pharmacists to do more tasks like a doctor checking for lice, things like that, because she said that they're telling them that there's going to be major devastations on U.S. cities. 
So we have to ask ourselves the question, what are the devastations for? What are, what are they caused by? Is it by the asteroids or meteorites or is it by war? Is it by civil war? Uh, is it by invasion? I don't know the answer. Anyway, I'm going to cut this short because I'll lose signal here very soon. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, but this, oh, by the way, this is the reason why I saw Matt not staying in Florida. Let me just make that part as well. Uh, you know, if they cut, they're, they're, you know, power gets cut, the grid goes down because of something like this, or they lock everybody down due to COVID-19 pandemic, things like that. It's just a very miserable state to get stuck in. Not to mention, if these asteroids hit the ocean or something like that and create a tsunami, uh, Florida coastlines are not good. So undoubtedly, September, it's not just the fact that these things are going to be visual, it's the fact that we're going to, I think September is when we're supposed to get more impacts. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for the support that you give to this ministry. We do appreciate it. And, uh, and, and your love and kindness is greatly appreciated. I can't tell you and thank you enough for the love you guys have. We will continue to produce, to share the gospel, and to reach out to the Jewish people with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what they need, not an Antichrist message that they're getting or that they're going to get this fake Messiah. Which, by the way, they're saying in Israel, breaking Israel news, that the Messiah is already there in Israel. No, he's not. Maybe the Antichrist is, but not Jesus Christ. I'm Steve Benin with Israeli News Live.